proof of uh, the first part of Klein's theorem. The theorem states that any language that can be defined with a regular expression can be accepted by some NFA. Or uh, in simpler terms, we can say that given any regular expression, we can obtain its corresponding NDFSM or Epsilon NFA. So let's start with the proof uh, here. From the, uh, by the definition of regular expression, we know that phi, epsilon uh, and uh, a are regular expression. So now let's draw the configuration, uh, now let's draw the figure of corresponding machines to recognize the language for respective expressions. So the corresponding machine to, uh, to accept when regular expression is equal to phi is it would be Q0 being one start state and Q1 being the final state because there are no transitions happening here. Okay, then we have a uh, regular expression is equal to epsilon. Regular expression uh, when equal to epsilon uh, says that it comprises of a, a empty string. So in that case, Q0 on epsilon transition would give Q1. So here, epsilon transition is occurring. Then we have regular expression equal to uh, a string or a symbol A. Okay, in that case we know Q0 on A would give Q1 that is the final state. So here single transition is happening. over the A symbol. So this is what we have seen about uh, the corresponding machines to recognize the language for uh, respective expressions. Now the schematic representation of regular expression to accept the uh, language LR. So let's take language LR. Here there would be a start state and here there would be a final state and M being the machine. So this is how the schematic representation of regular expression is done. Now we know that uh, there are three operators being used uh, like regular expression has three operators. Those are plus, dot and star. So let's consider M1 and M2 be two machines that accept language LR1 this LR1 is corresponding to regular expression 1 corresponding to regular expression 1 and language LR2 corresponding to regular expression 2 so we know that M1 is equal to Q1 sigma 1 transition function of 1 and F1 and similarly M2 can be written as Q sigma transition function Q0 and F2. So the machine corresponding to the regular expression using the above three operators could be written as R1 plus R2 R1 dot R2 and R1 star. This is called as union. This is concatenation. And this is closure. So our aim was to prove this, right? Our aim was to prove that uh, any regular expression can be uh, accepted by some NFA. Let's take case 1 now. That is to get R is equal to R1 plus R2. So uh, epsilon NFA can be constructed to accept the language LR1 plus LR2. So this LR1 plus LR2 can be represented as, so there would be a start state, yes. And here there are two machines, right? Q1, M1, F1 and Q2, M2, F2 over epsilon transition and epsilon transition and on this side 
again we have epsilon transition and epsilon transition we get the final state so now let's take an example and prove this uh, machine to accept lr1 plus lr2 so let's take an example uh, let's write language of 0 plus 1 so this could be written as q0 here we have q1 and q2 and here we have q3 and q4 and q5 being the final state so it starts from q0 so there would be a epsilon transition yes and it could be either zeros or ones is zero and one again epsilon transition so we have uh, proved the first case let's look into the second case case two that is r1 r is equal to r1 dot r2 so here we need to construct a epsilon nfa to accept the language uh, lr1 followed by lr2 represented as l r1 dot r2 so the corresponding machine for this would be let's draw so it starts from q1 m1 f1 over epsilon transition we get q2 m2 f2 this is lr2 this is lr1 this is lr1 and this is lr2 so let's take an example to uh, prove this. So let's write L of A dot B. So this could be written as Q0 being the start state. Over A we get Q1 and on this side Q2 over B we get Q3 the final state. And here there would be an epsilon transition or you can write it as Q0 A Q1 Q2 being the final state, Q3 being the final state, B. So we have uh, looked into the two cases, let's uh, move to the third case now. So case 3, that is R is equal to R1 star. So uh, epsilon NFA can be constructed to accept the language L R1 star. So the corresponding machine for this would be Q0 being the start state over epsilon transition there is a machine and then you have the uh, final output uh, like the final state. So here there is a self loop LR1 this is the LR1 right and here again epsilon. And there's a direct transition from the start state to final state without any intermediate states over epsilon transition. So let's take an example for this. You can write it as Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, epsilon, epsilon, B. There's a like self loop uh, internal transition, yes. And on this side we have the direct uh, transition so we have looked into the all three cases so hence for any regular expression I'll write the conclusion here hence for any regular expression it is proved that there exists a finite state machine to accept the language L of R. So hence proved. Uh, I hope you have understood this all the steps of this uh, derivation. If you have any doubts do let me know and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.